So alcohol and alcohol uh, related problems are very, very common in the emergency department. In some places at certain times a day up to 30% of patients who register in the emergency department uh, have problems that are directly related to the consumption, either excessive or withdrawal of uh, consumption of alcohol. I think these kinds of problems, social problems, alcohol related problems, they don't tend to be at the top of the medical uh, problem list when people think about common problems, but these are very, very prevalent problems in society. They're common, they cut across all social strata, and I really think it's important that, that people you know, start to address this and try and find a better way to manage these issues and, uh, and help folks out. The tremor is the most common way of uh, evaluating alcohol withdrawal. Anecdotally, we believe there's a wide variability in people's ability to determine whether something is a mild, moderate, or severe tremor. And we thought it would be great to objectively quantify, characterize that tremor, see if we could say, well, this is a typical tremor of alcohol withdrawal versus this is a typical tremor of somebody, for example, trying to fake alcohol withdrawal. Uh, and also to determine is it mild, moderate, or severe. So we had this idea of using the accelerometer in the iPhones uh, to actually measure and characterize alcohol withdrawal tremor. You need to go seven to ten hertz. That's seven to ten <laughs> A uh, second? tremors per second. It's hard. It's very hard to fake. <laughs> I feel like I'm failing. I'm definitely failing this test. Okay. So your tremor on the C West score, tremor rates from zero to seven. Mm -hmm. So 3.8 would be a moderate tremor. Um, if we look at the signal of your hand though, there's quite a bit of variability when you I'll look at the that. spectrogram. When you look at somebody who's got a real uh, alcohol withdrawal tremor, it's actually a fairly straight, sharp line with very little uh, variability to it. Uh, so we're hoping that we can standardize the tremor assessment. And since it's something that people use so commonly to assess severity anyways, we're hoping that we can develop a shorter scale that will rely more heavily on the tremor and will allow us to just decide if somebody has a severe tremor from the fake.